Hey everyone, let's learn how to use API in React.js using a simple fetch API. What is fetch API? The fetch API provides a JavaScript interface for accessing and manipulating parts of the HTTP pipeline, such as requests and responses. It also provides a global fetch method that provides an easy, logical way to fetch resources asynchronously across the network. The Fetch API is a modern interface that allows you to make HTTP requests like GET, POST, PUT, DELETE, etc. to servers from the web browsers. In this documentation, you can find all the information to use Fetch API. Now in this video, we are going to use this JSON placeholder API, which will provide us some data in JSON format and let us use different methods like get or post. As I click on the run script, it is giving us some data in JSON format. This is the documentation to use this JSON placeholder API. Let's create one file called fetchapi.js inside this API folder. I am using React snippets here to build functional component Give any title here. Let's create one button and name it as a fetch API. We are going to use this button to call API. Create one method API get because we are going to use get request here. I am creating this method using an arrow function. Copy this code from documentation and paste it inside our method. Now first line which is fetch contains a URL which we are going to call and then it will return as a promise so we will use then keyword and convert it to a JSON data. After that we will log this data. Call this method in the button. Let's not forget to import our component in the app file. Open console. As you can see here, on button click, we are getting the data from the URL. There is a four different fields, body, ID, title, and user ID. Let's check this URL in separate tab. And this is the same as what we get in the console. Let's get all available data. We just have to modify URL by removing this ID 1 and we are good to go. We are now getting almost 100 objects. Let me explain again what we did. We are using this fetch method by passing URL in it. This method will return as a promise which will contain data. So we are using a then keyword and converting data into JSON. And after that, another then keyword to log our data. Let us try to store this data in a state. Create a use state here. And don't forget to import it. Name it as a data and initialize it with an empty array. Remove console.log and inside the curly braces, paste it and set a data with JSON. Let's print this data state using a JSON.stringify. And we are getting lots of data here. Let's format it a bit. Inside the stringify, add null in the place of a replacer and 2 for the space. You can do it by using a pre tag which stands for pre formatted tag. Save this. Now we are getting the data in formatted manner. If you want to call an API on page load, then we have to use use effect 
if you are using a functional component or component did mount method if you are using a class component. Call our method which is an API get inside the use effect. As you can see here, we are getting the data whenever we reload the page. Let us see how you can use this data state. Create a new div and ul tag. Inside the ul tag, let's use a map function. This map function will return as an item which is an object in this case. We will use li to print item.title. And it's working great. Let's add item.id as key in the li tag or else, or else it will give us a warning. Warning is gone now. Let's print user id before title using item.user id. And it's working great. That's it for this video. In the next video, we are going to talk about the other methods like post. Stay tuned.